question today. A customer came in asking me about an HID bulb. Uh, they didn't ask me specifically about an HID bulb, but the bulb that they brought in wasn't HID. Um, and the HID bulbs, there's three different styles. Uh, a lot of people get them confused now. The HID bulb is, is a high intensity discharge. Uh, it's typically a type of bulb that you use in uh, like a light commercial uh, application. Uh, these are the bulbs that are in uh, parking lots, security areas around uh, businesses, and some uh, residential applications. Uh, they put out a lot of light uh, and they're ch generally a little bit larger fixture, larger bulb, and a little bit more expensive than the standard type light bulb. Now, uh, <clears throat> there's a little bit of confusion about them. Uh, people come in and they just have a bulb and they just want to get one that looks just like it. And the problem is uh, these bulbs look very similar and understanding how the bulbs uh, work uh, is important in finding the right bulb. Now when the bulb is new, uh, on the glass there's a little print on it and uh, it'll tell you it's the specific type of bulb. Uh, there's actually three types of HID bulbs. Uh, there's the uh, high pressure sodium, there's a mercury vapor, and a uh, metal halide. And so those are the three types and uh, they look very similar. Um, some people would differentiate them just by looking at them. I would not do that. Um, I would specifically look for the type of uh, bulb uh, that the fixture requires. Now, uh, if you have a bulb that doesn't have uh, the little print on the glass, uh, you can look at the ballast itself. The ballast will identify what kind of bulb it's made for, um, whether it was one of those three types, or, uh, or also it will identify the wattage, uh, which is very, very important, uh, not just the, the looks of the bulb. The other place you can look for identification on this type of bulb is on the fixture itself where the bulb screws into the fixture where it connects to the fixture. When you unscrew the bulb and take it out, there's usually a little stamp or a sticker uh, right next to that little base uh, which will help you uh, figure out which bulb that is. And it does have to be specific. It has to be a metal halide, mercury vapor, or high pressure sodium. It's one of those three. They're not interchangeable. The wattage is not interchangeable. It has to be specific. Uh, just like fluorescent fixtures and fluorescent bulbs. Uh, so when you have an HID, make sure you can identify that information and you can find the bulb that you need for easy replacement. Hope that helps. Have a good day.